Hi there, welcome to another video of mine. This video is going to be a bit different, more personal and serious than my news or content. As you can see from the title, I'm about to talk about a relationship and a breakup that I went through. It wasn't recent, but only now do I feel comfortable enough to share it with you. But to be honest, I rarely talk about relationships romantic relationships with anyone, not even my mom, uh, especially not with my mom. I've been through three different romantic relationships and I think my mom only knows about one after I told her that I had already broken up with my recent ex-girlfriend. But that's who I am. I like to take time. I don't jump into a relationship right after a breakup. I prefer to reflect on what I could have done differently, things I need to work on and how to become a better person, a better partner next time. So today I want to share with you five things that I learned after my breakup. But the first thing I learned is to accept. But let's be real, no one really wants to end a relationship they hold so dearly. We all hope for that happily ever after. We're convinced that this person is the one that we love to spend the rest of our life with. We imagine growing with them, building a family and weathering life's ups and downs together. But life is more complicated than that. More often than not, we meet the right person at the wrong time, whether it's due to not being mature enough or having different life goals that don't align. Ending the relationship sometimes becomes the right choice. Um, we have to accept that. That's why even now I tear up when watching La La Land, I feel like I can relate so much to, to both Sebastian and Mia. They're young, ambitious, and clearly meant for each other. But Life points them in different directions. And years later, when they finally meet again, they share a smile that says it all. An unfinished story, a life they could have had, a family they have built, and a happy ending that never was. All of it summed up in a single glance. And you have to accept that. Who knows, maybe in an all your universe, you two do finally end up together married. And whatever happens, you do wish that in another life, you would have really liked just doing laundry and taxes with that person. But the second thing I learned is is that it's okay to not feel okay. After a breakup, there's this pressure to move on or get over quickly. But let me tell you, it's perfectly fine to feel like crap. You don't have to pretend that everything's okay when it's not. Heartbreak hurts. It's natural to grieve the loss of someone who was a big part of your life. Personally, I think the most difficult part for me after the breakup was telling your friends about it. I avoided mentioning it to some of the friends I have who knew about my relationship for a while because talking about it hurts, especially when my friends know that my relationship lasted for years. I think it's necessary to give yourself permission to feel whatever you're feeling, whether it's sadness, anger, or even relief. There's no right way to go through a breakup. Take your time to process your emotions. It's okay to not have it all figured out. It's okay to call some of your friends and tell them that, hey, we're not ready to talk about our breakup yet. We'll let you know whenever we can open up about it. Healing is a process and it's different for everyone. Speaking of healing, I found that picking up a new habit after a breakup can be incredibly helpful. You just lost a routine you were so accustomed to. Waking up next to someone, sharing kisses goodnight, hugging after a tough day, those daily check-ins. It's hard to let go of these habits suddenly. But I discovered that learning something new helped me replace the old routines. I started working out more, cooking for myself, baking. It all gave me something positive to focus on. I slowly filled the void. Trust me, it takes time to heal, but picking up a new habit can speed up the process. The third thing I learned is that it is equally difficult for both the dumper and the dumpy. There's this common misconception that the person who ends the relationship has it easier, but that's far from the whole truth. Ending a relationship, especially one that has been meaningful and deep, is often a heart-wrenching decision. I've been on both sides and I can tell you that being the dumper isn't a free pass to happiness. The person who initiates the breakup frequently wrestles with guilt and doubt and an un overwhelming senses of sadness. Imagine having to tell someone you've shared your life with for years that you no longer see a future together. Not because love has faded, because your paths have diverged. Perhaps you have a dream you need to pursue, one that doesn't align with your partner's life. Breaking that news is gut-wrenching. It's a moment filled with emotional turmoil, where you question whether you're doing the right thing, even as you know deep down that is necessary. On the flip side, being on the receiving end of a breakup can feel like rejection that hits you on multiple levels. You might find yourself spiraling into self-doubt, wondering if you did something wrong, if you were good enough, or if you could have done something different to change the outcome. But as much as you may want to fix things, sometimes the pieces just don't fit back together no matter how hard you tried. A broken mirror cannot be restored to its original form no matter how much effort you put in. 
whether you're the one ending it or the one being left behind. It's a painful process and both parties deserve compassion and understanding. The fourth thing I learned is that we can end on good terms. Not every breakup has to be messy or full of drama. It's possible to end a relationship respectfully, even if it didn't work out the way you both expected. In fact, my recent breakup ended with mutual respect and understanding. I genuinely wish that I had learned this lesson earlier in my life. Looking back, I can see how many relationships ended poorly, often in anger or frustration, but in bridges that didn't need to be burned. I carry a sense of guilt for those times, knowing now that breaking up doesn't have to mean burning every connection to the ground. Sometimes it's simply about recognizing that two people are better off walking separate paths. And when you can reach that conclusion with kindness and understanding, it allows both of you to move forward with a sense of peace. It's a gift you give to each other, closer with animosity, allowing you both to heal and grow from the experience. The fifth thing I learned is to know that you become better next time. As painful as breakups are, they have this incredible ability to teach us some of the most valuable lessons about ourselves about love, about what we truly want and need in a relationship. It's all too easy to get caught up in the mistakes, to replay the things that went wrong over and over in your mind. But there's something far more important at play here, growth that comes from those experiences. Every breakup I've gone through has and has always shaped me into a better version of myself. It's through these heartbreaks that I've learned to establish and respect my own boundaries, understand what I truly need from a partner, and to communicate those needs more effectively. Each relationship teaches you something new, and with each lesson, you come out a little stronger, a little wiser, and a lot more prepared to build something healthier and more fulfilling in the future. So don't be afraid of what lies ahead. Know that you're constantly evolving and that next time you enter a relationship you do it with a deeper understanding of yourself and what you want and even if the next relationship isn't perfect and let's be real no relationship ever is you will be better equipped to handle whatever comes your way it's all part of the journey and each step forward brings you closer to the kind of love and partnership you truly deserve so there you have it five things that i've learned from my breakups or sharing this wasn't easy but I hope it resonates with some of you out there who are going through something similar to this. Romantic relationships are complicated and breakups even more so, but they're also powerful opportunities for growth and self-discovery. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video is that breakups, as painful as they are, don't define you. They're just one chapter in your life and not the whole story. You're allowed to feel whatever you're feeling, to take your time to heal and to come out stronger and wiser. And remember, every ending is just a new beginning in disguise. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this story. It means a lot to me. And I hope that whatever you're going through, you're gonna get it. You've got this. See you next time.